Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Golf is Hard TV, the golf show for the rest of us. I apologize for my voice. I either, ha- either have allergies or I'm getting sick. I just got back from the range. That's a good thing. Uh, I got my Callaway hat on, and I'm ready for another um, golf social networking site review. Um, today, we're going to take a look at Oob Golf. I really like this site. Uh, I used this site all last year to record my score, so I actually have some good data to show you. Um, just give you a real quick tour of the homepage. I really love these uh, these fun facts. Average par three, uh, 4.09. You know, three million total holes played. It's great. They, they these guys really have a huge amount of data uh, floating around the site. Uh, they have live rounds, so actually you can use a mobile device and you can, uh, you can post up scores from uh, right from your mobile device, right from the course, which is pretty cool. Running tally of the week's best scores. Certainly all the recent scores. Looks like Kick, Kick and True's been playing uh, quite a bit of golf lately. Um, there's an on-site blog, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think you get to it actually by uh, going to foreplay in the clubhouse, and that'll bring up the, uh, the on-site blog. They blog quite a bit about different issues, a lot of pro stuff, some funny stuff. It's actually a pretty funny, um, pretty funny website. There's some good stuff going on uh, inside. Uh, but the main thing about Oob Golf really is, uh, so you can see here on the blog, um, the blog about Mamianica, uh Grenade uh, adds new golf course hazard, that kind of stuff. So uh, kind of fun stuff. But the main the main reason, I think, to use Oob Golf is really the scoring. Uh, and again, just like Straka, very, very easy to enter scores. Although I think I saw something the other day that sort of promised even easier way to enter scores. But again, similar to Straka, you can enter 18 or 9, hole by hole or total score only. It keeps track of both. You can actually configure courses. You can actually search courses. If I remember correctly, they've actually indexed every golf course, I think, in the, in the country. Um, and one neat thing, too, is you can actually, and I'll show you in a minute, you can actually uh, uh, indicate which clubs you played, uh, which is kind of cool. It gives you kind of a lot of data uh, to record. So anyway, uh, let me go back here. I'm going to select a course just to show you what the, what the data entry looks like. And again, similar to uh, Straka, you can select a tee. So I'll select the blue tees, and it'll automatically load in. Uh, if your course isn't in there by chance, you can actually add it, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you really you go right through and you enter your score. Just enter some data here, and again, you can keep track of uh, the club. You know, club off the tee at seven iron, whatever it might be. Whether you hit the fairway or not, hit, miss, left or right, uh, keeps track of all this stuff. So it actually gives you really great visualizations. Uh, again, which I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, let you classify the uh, the type of round that you played. It actually will allow you to indicate which clubs you used. Um, so if you're trying a new driver out, you can actually track that or new new putter, whatever it might be. You can enter notes. Uh, and then you can obviously save it, which I'm not going to do. But I will bring up uh, my game, and you can take a look at uh, some of the visualizations, which are really, really cool. One thing also about Straka and Oob Golf is that you can actually connect them to Facebook, which means you can stream your scores and other things right into your profile. So you can see these are these are actually my aggregate scores since uh, I think a year and a half ago or so I've been using this site. Uh, 22.1 handicap, which is actually probably more accurate than my official handicap. Um, 52 pars, 85 miles played, which is kind of cool. That, that, that kind of those kind of numbers are really cool. But I really think the power of um, Oob Golf is really in uh, in the details that they have. And I'm actually looking for it. I don't. Oh, here you go. If you click on game, it's actually really really cool what they've done. They've 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 used some really amazing technology, and they give you a ton of visualizations to really take a look at your game. I don't know that they have the comparison features. We'll have to dig around and look for that stuff. But they've got this thing called reports and charts. And we'll just bring that up. And I, and I think just as a sideline, I mean, I think part of the benefit of these scores is that you can really look at, you know, your score versus other people. But I think for me personally, tracking my score and seeing, you know, how many putts uh, and really understanding in a given round why I score better, uh, I think is really helpful. Um, so they've got some development charts in here. And we can look at some really, uh, really good stuff. So here you see uh, my handicaps are bouncing uh, up and down uh, or actually kind of uh, declining. The, in the yellow, and the green is strokes over par, but you can add all sorts of neat things, you know, fairways hit, um, greens and regulation, which should really throw off this chart completely since I never hit a green regulation, uh, number of pars around, you can actually sort it by date, so if I wanted to look at, say, just a particular year, I could do that, you can also limit courses, which is also really, really cool, again, similar to many of the other social networking sites, so you can add friends, um, and you can trade emails with them, and, and, and communicate with them on the site. Again, I apologize. I really sound stuffed up. I didn't think I sounded that bad. Uh, there's a group feature, similar similar to Straka, 
Uh, I don't think I joined any groups. I didn't. But you can create groups and join groups. Um, you can track your equipment, as I mentioned, and you can actually pull up ratings and actually rate uh, things and see what other people rated them. So if we look at these rack OS2, the, the irons I play, we can actually see. There's my rating, but then... Um, you know, Hamby's rating and some other people's rating, some really good stuff. So I think that's I think that's pretty much the core group of uh, features that I really love about this. The other thing, as I mentioned, is uh, Oob integrates all golf courses, so I'm pretty sure you're not going to find a uh, golf course that's not in Oob Golf, which is which is pretty cool, uh, I think. Um, and again, the mobile features, the ability to add, uh, keep track of scores. I've never used that before, but I think I may try that this year. Uh, I'm gonna have to try a bunch of different sites, uh, obviously. So that's it. So I would definitely uh, encourage you to check out Oogolf, as I would encourage you to check out Straka. Pick the one you like the best. Maybe invite your friends. Uh, and that is the end of the Oogolf tour, uh, the second of the websites we're going to be checking out, uh, social networking golf websites. That's it for Golf is Hard TV, golf show for the rest of us. Keep watching. Thanks.